Well, hello, my lovelies. I know y'all are going to be disappointed that for two weeks in a row we're not really going to be throwing anything. And that is because I have to be to work in about an hour. Um, so I don't want to have to clean up a big mess. But this is a $449, I believe. I don't know why I put that. Okay. $446 before taxes and $475 after taxes. But, that sounds like a lot, but this includes about 12 to 14 days worth of groceries. That includes Thanksgiving dinner. And this also includes finishing up birthday shopping for Delson. The only thing we have left to get for his birthday is the cake. And then the only things we have left to get for Thanksgiving are like the fresh produce and stuff that we're going to need. And so yeah, that's it. Besides the birthday cake and the produce, I'm hoping I don't have to go back to Walmart before Thanksgiving. Yes, my love. You're not doing a very good job. Well, I mean, you can't really see me. I mean, I can see me like right here just a little bit, but... And the sleeve of your shirt. <laughs> but barely. It's behind my freaking arm. There we go. How about this? Nice. We got two things of wrapping paper. Um, this is not going to be enough to wrap his presents, but I'm going to get see if I can get some green wrapping paper to go with it at work because Walmart didn't have any plain green. Because well, I already got like at work the decorations, like the balloons and, and stuff, and like a game controller balloon because uh, that's what he's into. And he requested specifically a creeper piñata. So we got a creeper piñata. We're going to go to the Dollar Tree to get stuff to put in it. Because we don't just want to put a bunch of candy in here when it's just going to be our kids. You know? So. Um, then, well, for a birthday gift, he requested one of these. So we got him one of these. This is like his big gift, like one of his bigger gifts for his birthday. Um, we have this cool little Lego set. Now, he'll probably build these monster trucks one time and then they'll get the Legos from it will just get mixed into his Lego bin, but um, we thought he would like the big wheels in this one. Also, we found this on clearance. I don't know if this is supposed to be for his birthday or if this is for my husband. Hey, babe! Is this Star Wars Lego for you or for Delson? Okay. It was for Delson. It was half price. Uh, normally $24 on clearance for $12. Um, I got a binder because Delson brings home a lot of work. Like, not homework, but it's like extra work he can do at home to help him practice and stuff. And I needed somewhere to put it, so I got a binder. My husband got a beanie. He used to have one, uh, not very similar to this, same color, uh, different fabric, and it was more slouchy. Uh, if you know the uh, video game Infamous, it's from that the, the beanie that the main character wears. In that video game, he used to have it. He lost it at work. He's very sad about it, and we've been wanting to replace it, but haven't been able to find it. So, there's that. There's my work keys. Let me get them out of the way. Um, let's see. To kind of go along with the Minecraft theme, we got these candles in it. Just perfectly worked out that there are seven of them and he will be seven. Um, his birthday falls on Thanksgiving this year, so I am cooking a Thanksgiving dinner. But it's not it's just because we wanted to also get Thanksgiving dinner, but first and foremost, it is his birthday first. But these plates are bigger and sturdier, and they were on uh, sale for $1.98, so I just got two of them. I got a file folder to kind of help organize some of the uh, papers that I need to keep but don't need to have out all the time and that need to kind of be filed away. Also, to go with the Minecraft theme, we got some Minecraft plates for his cake, at least. Um, I have to disguise another turkey. Uh, and I haven't decided if I'm going to do a pig or a cow. But this comes with pink and white. So if I want to do a pig, I got the pink. If I want to do a cow, I got white. And then there's no black in there, so I had to get pom-poms. And I had to buy this thing of pipe cleaners to get the pink pipe cleaner for 
the pigtail, if we get a pigtail, but don't worry, they won't go to waste. My kids will use them, or I'll use them. Um, then I got a some foil pans to do my ham and dressing in this year. I'm trying to get through like the non food stuff first. Starting the day after Thanksgiving, I can wear ugly Christmas sweaters to work. So this week I picked up this one. There was one I wanted that looked like Santa Claus getting his mug shot down and said breaking and entering and I really wanted that one. But they were out of my size in the Walmart I went to and I don't know if I'll be able to find one this year, but I do like this one too. And I want to get at least one more because we can wear them until Christmas Eve day, like Christmas Eve day we can wear them. So from the day after Thanksgiving all the way up until Christmas Eve we can wear them. And then I just got two pairs of underwear, y'all don't need to see that. I got some potatoes, some more potatoes. Um, I did get two gallons of milk, one expires on the 27th and one on the 29th. Y'all saw I bought my, my turkey last year, I got my ham this year. You guys may be thinking, if y'all are having a bunch of people over for Thanksgiving dinner, why'd you get such a big turkey and such a big ham? That's because we like turkey and ham. Well, my husband likes turkey and he likes me to make turkey salad and then also just fry up the turkey and put it on a sandwich and stuff like that after Thanksgiving. I love ham. And that's all I'll be real. It can be refroze. It can be froze after it's cooked if it needs to. And also, I know for sure my mother-in-law's coming. Uh, my nephew might be coming. Uh, I don't think really anybody else will be coming, but it'll be fine. So I shall do the two gallons of milk. Okay. We got four cans of golden sweet kernel corn. Um, I'm going to make that chicken Mexican chicken tortilla soup that I have a video of, I think from last October maybe on here. I can't remember when I did that. So that's what the, some of the corn is for and some of the pinto beans. I also just got two extra cans of corn in case we want to have them for dinner. That's also what these fire roasted uh, diced tomatoes are for. And then we got two cans of Rotel because I am going to be doing beans and summer sausage. Also, this week, in the two weeks, um, also because I did not, you know, plan ahead. Oh, I guess we should address the elephant in the room. I got my hair cut. Yes, yes, yes. What do you think? Um, I haven't decided how I like it curly yet. Um, I do, uh, let me, I, um. I mean, it doesn't look bad. I have wore it sh straight since I got it done, and I enjoy it straight, but I think it looks all right. It looks decent enough curly that I don't feel like I have to fix it every day before going to work. And I'm trying to get it healthy. I cut off, cut off most of the color that I could and all the dead ends, and I'm going to try not to color it again until I get all of this grown out and cut off which is probably gonna take me like three years but I'm trying to get it back into a healthy state and this is just my natural hair uh, air dried no product in it at all so anyways that was a tangent oh what I was gonna say is I meal plan some things and then some things I was like I'm just gonna get these so we have them to throw some meals together like I think over the 14 days well I already had pork tenderloin that we can do. And I have something else and I can't remember what it is at the, off the top of my head. Um, and then we got stuff for brats, stuff for hamburgers, stuff for the chicken, chill, uh, chicken and soup, stuff for the beans and summer sausage. Uh, we got stuff for sausage gravy and croissants. Um, we got some, uh, we already have a th some things of Hamburger Helper, and then we got two more things. So, we have, like, nine meals out of the next 12 to 14 days that we're not going to go to the grocery store, and the rest of it, I was like, I'm just going to get some pasta, some pasta sauce, uh, and some things that we can just, you know, make quick meals out of the last few days, or I'm sure we'll go out to eat a day or two in there, or whatever. Anyways, that's where it's going. So, we got some... Some rigatoni 
and some pinto beans, and I missed a bag of non-food stuff. So let's go through that. I needed some aluminum foil, some more parchment paper, some gallons of butt bags, and some paper plates, like regular paper plates for, you know, everyday use. Because if you're new here, you don't like using real plates. Uh, well, for some things we do, but most days we don't. We use paper plates. And if you want to come for me because it's bad for the envi environment, go ahead. I don't, I don't care that much. My sanity is the most important. And my husband's sanity, since he is a stay-at-home parent right now, is the most important. So if he decides he wants to go back to using real plates and he doesn't mind washing all those plates, we'll stop buying paper plates. But until then, we're going to use paper plates. Let's see, we got some shredded mozzarella, got some shredded parm, and we got some Fiesta blends. Uh, the parm and the mozzarella are to add to some frozen macaroni my husband got for Thanksgiving. Um, we're also going to add bacon to it, and then uh, the Fiesta blend is for the uh, Mexican chicken tortilla soup. And I got some Polska Kielbasa. Polska Kielbasa. For the um, beans. The pinto beans. I got two things of bacon for Thanksgiving to use in the macaroni and in the green beans. And then also to just have. And uh, uh, hamburgers and whatever else we decide to do with bacon. I got two things of sausage for the sausage gravy and croissants. I've got a Ben and Jerry's core caramel sutra chocolate and caramel ice creams with fudge chips and soft caramel core. That should be good. Yes, I know these are expensive, but I treat myself because I can. I got uh five pounds of ground beef. We do have some still in the freezer, but just to make sure that we have enough to get us through the two weeks. Um, here's the croissants. And I needed some sour cream to go with that soup. Because when I made it the first time, it, actually, I've made it a few times since then also. Um, it's not good just straight out of the crock pot. It's a little too liquidy. It doesn't really, uh, I mean, it has flavor, but I don't know. The flavor doesn't match the texture, in my opinion. So once you add the sour cream and the cheese to it, it is. it turns into more like a white chicken chili, and it is so good. Needed some butter. I have some in the freezer, but I just wanted to make sure that when I cook Thanksgiving and stuff, I don't run out, and then I also will still have some, because I don't like run, running out of butter in this house. No, no, no. This is the mac and cheese we're going to do for Thanksgiving. I want to do homemade mac and cheese, but that is not something I want to experiment on a holiday with. So, we just got these. Um, got some cilantro for the chicken soup. Got one jalapeno for the chicken soup. You can put as many jalapenos in as you want in there, but since I have small kids, I tend to go for just one. See, I got one of these because that's all they had, and then I got one of these, which is actually pretty good. I didn't think I would like just the big plain one, but I got it a couple weeks ago, and it's pretty good. Okay, let's see. We got a little bit of Miracle Whip for devil eggs. I have some in there, but I don't know if it'll be enough, so I just bought another little small one. My kids are going to be off all next week, so we got some more Pop-Tarts, even though we're not I think we still have like half a box. I just, like I said, I do not want to have to go to the grocery store for more than a few items between now and Thanksgiving. So, there's that. If you're gonna, if you're using jarred pasta sauce, this is the best thing to add to it. And also, when I make homemade spaghetti sauce, sometimes I add this into it. It is so good. Uh, it's the Thick and Zesty Spaghetti by McCormick's. It is very good. I got four of them because I just like to have them on hand, and for like five years in my area, you could not find them anywhere, so I like to try and stay at least a little bit stocked up. We got the 
double cheeseburger macaroni. Hamburger helper. And then we also got the cheesy Italian shells hamburger helper. And I think we still have one up in the cabinet that we bought last week that we haven't used. I don't remember what the flavor is. Got some chicken broth because I couldn't remember if I needed it or not. And I don't have any. So that's always something good to have on hand. Melatonin for my kids. These ones are like jelly beans. I don't know. That's a new one. Uh, we got some. Hmm. We got some uh, smoked paprika. I ran out of that. I was going to buy some herbs and stuff to use on the turkey this year um, in the shaker bottles, but I think I'm going to try and find fresh herbs this year. Then I got some creamy Alfredo uh, Alfredo sauce. I have some in the cabinet, but like I said, for two weeks, you never know what. Just And that way, if we use the one in the cabinet counter, we still have one just in case. And then I just got two boxes of my coffee because I was out. And then some biotin because uh, my hair is really thin and damaged still, even with all that got caught, cut off. And so I was asking my hairdresser what she, you know, recommends to, you know, help. And also my hair is really thin and I was wondering if there was any way to make it. She said to take this and make it grow faster so we can get the dead stuff out faster. So I'm going to see about doing that. We got two thing of brats. A thing of chicken thighs because I'm going to try that soup with chicken thighs instead of chicken breast. And then also if my husband decides to make chicken alfredo. Sometimes you just got to switch it up between white meat and dark meat. And actually these thighs were like 10 cents a pound cheaper right now than the breasts were. So there's that. I don't know my hamburger bones about smushed. Hamburger buns. I do still have a pack of these in the cabinet from last week, but um, my nephew's been staying with us a couple days a week and stuff, and so never hurts to have extra hot dog buns. And if I believe, folks, that this, this might be the last thing. Two 18 counts of eggs. I still have one in the freezer or in the refrigerator out in the garage, but I'm making deviled eggs and the kids are going to be home and Delson's been liking fried eggs and all that. And I need to do some baking since it's getting to be Thanksgiving time too. So yeah. Anyways, that is it folks. I hope you had a great day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.